Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're going to look at the Airbus A320 V2 and then specifically for the audio part, right? If you open the ATC normally, or open the aircraft, I should say, you would normally already start hearing sound. Uh, in the A320 V2, that's also the case, but it depends on if you start from cold and dark, like uh, I'm doing now. Or if you start from the runway. If you start from the runway, it will likely work. But if you start from cool and dark, you will see that, say, nothing really works, right? Even pressing these numbers uh, is really something which doesn't work. Now, what do you need to do to fix this issue? Well, the first thing you need to do is, of course, make sure that the aircraft is powered on, right? So you followed all those uh, items in the uh, checklist. Let me move these ones over here, right? The preliminary, the preliminary checks <laughs> and the cockpit checks. And one of the cockpit checks is that Captain Audio Control Panel ASAT. And if you press this nice uh, eye icon, you will see where you need to look at. And this is where the magic happens. Uh, because initially I thought, okay, hey, maybe I need to f adjust the frequencies. But if you adjust the frequencies without making the changes I'm going I'm to show you, then I would say you still won't have any audio. So... What you need to do is, of course, make sure that you're tuned into the correct ATC or in, to, into the correct frequency, I should say. In this case, I am tuning into uh, standard ground 121730, which is already here. And then this is the standby frequency. And if you want to flip the frequencies, you can do, easily do that. But if you're doing it currently, like I'm just showing you, you will see that it automatically adjusted to the active frequency. So... A little bit weird behavior, but this is the behavior it, it is. Now, the next thing which you need to make sure is that VHF1 is selected because that's a radio we're going to use. And as you can see, this part has been highlighted because these two buttons are really, I would say, uh, there for you to help you uh, listening into this radio. So what you need to do is you need to pull this button and you can pull it by uh, pressing it. Then you can see that you have a lot of items in the list, right? You can uh, tune into the ATIS, you can uh, tune into the clearance, you can ask the multiple requests, the taxi options, also taxiing to parking and refueling options as well, the ground services. But you still don't hear anything. Now, the second thing which you need to do is make sure that you tune in this button. So you can increase it, but you still don't hear much, right? In my case, you don't see that there is a lot of, I would say, uh, active let's say active communication happening but make sure you tune into this button and also make sure that you have that call button uh, selected if you don't have that call button selected it also won't work and after that you can simply say uh, for example ask for a uh, taxi and now you hear the hc and that's how you can fix the issue so simple thing by simply following the checklist make sure that you pull out this button and make sure that you adjust the volume because else you won't hear that much uh, and here you can see we are, are i'd say okay to taxi so if i would acknowledge then we're acknowledging the taxi clearance and we can uh, start taxiing and then take off here ends this video where we looked at how to enable the audio part of the atc in the a320 v2 by simply following the checklist but if you didn't follow it and you think, or think, okay, hey, why doesn't it work from cold to dark? That likely has to do with uh, this button, which you didn't pull out. And that's the really easy thing which you can do uh, to, uh, say, adjust that and to fix the issue. Again, here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm making, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.